What's up YouTube, John here. Thank you for joining Blue Carbon Reefing and welcome to my first episode of my fish spotlight. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the blue tang or the blue hippo tang, the regal tang, the pacific blue tang, the dory fish. Uh, definitely a lot of names for this one. It became very, very popular when the uh, movie Finding Dory came out. <clears throat> Hi Dory! Ahoy there! <laughs> Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of the scientific stuff of the fish in the wild and of course my experience with it in the aquarium hobby. So its scientific name is Paracanthus hepatis. In the wild typically it will inhabit the coral reefs of the Indo-Pacific Ocean. Um, it gets its blue, bright blue coloration from pigment cells called iridophores. Um, in the wild it can actually use its coloration to communicate with other fish. For example, if it feels threatened, it can change its color um, from a dark blue to purple to even being a transparent. Uh, its tail and back are covered in venomous spines. Uh, definitely something in the aquarium hobby you do not want to get stung by this fish. This fish is definitely reef compatible. It's actually a very valued member of my reef tank. It picks on the rocks and grazes all day long eating algae, which uh, for nuisance algae is actually a very good thing. Uh, as far as maximum size of the fish, it can get up to a foot long. Uh, I really would recommend that this fish uh, go in no less than 180 gallons. I will say that I've seen some people keep smaller sized ones uh, in smaller tanks and obviously find a new home or upgrade to bigger tanks as it gets it's bigger but uh, it needs a lot of swimming room this fish will swim miles per day in the wild so at least a six foot tank or longer uh, for it to be able to swim and grow uh, to you know closer to its maximum size It will do very well in all of your typical parameters for a typical reef tank, uh, 72 to 78 degrees, specific gravity of 1.020 to 1.025, uh, obviously a pH over 8.0, let's say 8.0 to 8.4 uh, would be recommended. Uh, as far as diet is concerned, it's mainly a herbivore, but it actually is an omnivore. It can eat and will eat, uh, you know, some of your meaty things that you may feed in your reef tank, uh, mice or shrimp. Uh, krill, squid, clams, anything like that, but its main diet should really be um, your, you know, nori or some, your kind of algae, uh, as well as it will be grazing on the rocks for most of the day, so... As far as compatibility goes, like I said, it is a valued member of the reef tank, but I would consider this fish, it is a, a tang or a surgeon fish, to be mildly aggressive. It is not uh, one of the most aggressive tangs, but maybe in the middle. Uh, every fish obviously can have a different personality. I'm sure people have had very timid or uh, very nice ones compared to some people who probably have had some mean ones. Uh, but typically, they're probably in the middle in my eyes as far as aggressiveness. So uh, when I did add this fish, I added it first as far as all of the tangs, uh, knowing that it was probably a little bit more peaceful than some of the other ones. Uh, I do have some zebrasomas and I do have uh, or will have an acanthus, which those would be your powder blue Achilles or Solhals. Those are the most aggressive ones. So to be successful, typically I'll try to add the least aggressive tangs, uh, which this one would probably be considered um, less aggressive. Although this particular one is a little bit more aggressive than I have seen others in the past. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick episode and have learned at least a little something about the Pacific Blue Tang. Uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite fish. Uh, I am going to come out with more of these episodes, so if there's a certain fish that you would like to see uh, featured, definitely leave a comment below. Uh, otherwise, if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There will be lots more great content coming out. So thank you guys so much for watching, and happy reefing!